Hey everyone, Chris here for Stream Elements, and today we're going to go over optimizing OBS Studio for streaming Apex Legends. Let's get to it. So a new Battle Royale game has hit the market and it is taking the gaming and streaming world by storm. However, it's raised a lot of questions in terms of uh, being able to stream it properly because of how demanding on the GPU the game is. So OBS Studio is incredibly flexible in order to get this to stream properly, but there are also uh, a lot of settings that need to be tweaked or optimized and we're going to go over with. But first, I want to talk about OBS Live. Stream Elements offers their own either package with OBS Studio or just a plugin in addition to OBS Studio uh, utility called OBS Live. And what that will do is add the activity feed that you can control, pause, skip, uh, all sorts of stuff in the activity feed for Twitch into your OBS as well. It also adds the chat functionality so you can monitor your chat, type, respond, and everything in there. And a recent addition is the media control on there as well. So if you want things playing on your stream, you can pause, start, stop, skip, all that stuff right inside of OBS without having to have anything else open. So it really brings the whole show together in terms of optimizing and managing your stream. It's got a few other functionality in that. All the, uh, all the panels with all these things I just mentioned are all dockable and resizable. You could also change your stream game, your stream title, all sorts of stuff. So make sure you guys check that out. And uh, well, now let's get down to the computer. Let's get this tutorial going. So you wanna make sure that your streams run smoothly and that your viewers are engaged and entertained and when they watch you battle to become champion. However, you can't grow your channel if your streams are unreliable or look unprofessional. So here's a quick guide on getting your Apex Legends stream set up, giving you and your viewers the smoothest ex experience possible. The first step in streaming Apex Legends is to begin capturing what is on your screen. In order to stream your gameplay, go into OBS at a display capture source. So let's go ahead and open OBS. We're going to grab that, bring it right over here. So now you guys see my OBS feed right there. And this is OBS, the OBS Studio with the OBS Live plugin. If you guys want to see more on that, it'll be linked in the description below. Anyways, so you're going to want to add a display capture. This is the quickest thing to get you guys up and running as soon as possible. So you hit the plus sign down here. You go on over to display capture. You want to name it. We're going to name it APEC or actually just di display capture because we know, that way we can see it. We know what we're capturing. And it's got make source visible already checked. So it's going to make sure you can see it as soon as we add it. Press OK. There is my display. You can select your display. It was a zero and one. I have a two monitor setup. So that's why it's got two there. And I'm going to press OK. There it is. You got this infinite. <laughs> Uh, loop there but that's it that's display capture so it'll anything that's on your screen will get streamed as we go through and finish with this tutorial alternatively and in a way that this is this is actually a bit better for the game but this is easier to set up first alternatively we're going to turn this one off by hitting the eyeball alternatively you can go into game capture so you hit the plus sign go to game capture and we're going to type Apex for that one because these are specific to the games. And then you capture any specific window. You can leave it on capture any full screen application. But if you have trouble with it capturing, just click capture specific window. And then in this window list, you'll see Apex Legends. Select it and then press OK. And that way you will be capturing, capturing just the game. And with just the game capture, it actually should run a tad bit smoother. However, there are more steps to this, so you can do either or whatever you're comfortable with. So here we are in Apex Legends. We're going to go over optimizing it to make sure that it runs as smoothly as possible on your stream. So we're going to go down to the settings wheel in the bottom right. We click that, click settings, and then we're just going to go on over to video. So in video, and this is assuming you guys have a 1080p monitor or I guess any 16 by 9 aspect ratio monitor because uh, that will play a factor a little bit later. So native resolution right here is 1920 by 1080. Um, but most importantly, here's a big thing. This game is really intensive on GPU resources. So we want to make sure that we try to limit how much GPU it uses so that there's enough for OBS to stream it smoothly. So you want to turn VSync on and you want to click triple buffered. And then as well, you want to make sure that your monitor is in 60 Hertz mode. So in 60 Hertz mode, let me show you guys 
that real quick. 60 hertz mode, we go into your right, right click your desktop, go to display settings, go to advanced display settings, select your monitor, and then click display adapter properties for display one. In here, under the monitor tab, you can select your refresh rate. I have mine at 120 right now. You're gonna wanna set it to 60 to make sure that it's completely smooth in Apex Legends. So one more time, V-Sync triple buffered. Turn that on, make sure your monitor is in 60 hertz mode. So now let's run down the actual individual graphical setting. So you have on the texture streaming budget right here, you, um, high should be a good point, assuming you guys have a graphics card with four gigabyte or more of VRAM. You can run very high, six gigabytes if your graphics card supports it, but for the optimal experience, I believe high is good. You can turn it down a little bit to like medium, for example, it uses three gigabytes of VRAM, so there shouldn't be much of a difference between medium and high. However, this is a good sweet spot, but you gotta, th this is one of the ones you guys gotta experiment with just a little bit in order to find the best setting. I run mine on high, everything is good. I use an RTX 2060 in this system, but I believe that'll be good for any GPU with four gigabyte VRAM that could run the game effectively. Anti-aliasing. This is actually something that can uh, greatly affect your GPU performance. We're gonna turn that to none. Texture filtering. Uh, it generally has a low impact of performance, but if you really want to squeeze out the extra frames, set this to bilinear. Down here, bilinear. Ambient occlusion quality you can easily put the setting at low to medium for a good game experience but if you're a competitive player you want to disable it completely so boom disabled sun shadow coverage turning this down will reduce cpu and gpu load so set this to low same for spot shadow detail right below it so both are set to low there and uh, right here as well spot shadow detail sun shadow detail sun shadow coverage all low volumetric lighting well volumetric lighting this, this is the setting for sunbeams so it's purely aesthetic. Disable it to save additional uh, additional load and any unnecessary distractions because you sometimes if the light looks really pretty, you want to look at it, boom, you get shot. <laughs> and then you're out of the game. So volumetric lighting, disable. Dynamic spot shadows, same thing. Go ahead and disable it. Model detail. Now this can greatly affect your GPU performance as well. It is VRAM dependent. So depending on how much frame buffer you have in your graphics card, four gigabytes, six gigabytes, eight gigabytes, three gigabytes, uh, you want, you're want you gonna wanna turn it down. So set it to low for the best experience. Effects detail. Effects detail is for stuff like explosions and it is CPU and GPU dependent. So that's one you're gonna wanna turn down. So let's turn that down to low. Impact marks. Again, this one doesn't really affect performance too much, but you do want to set it to low just to make sure everything is going to run smoothly. And then same for ragdolls. And ragdolls is purely aesthetic, although it's more on the CPU than the GPU. Either way, let's just go ahead and set it to low. And then click apply and boom, all set in Apex Legends. So now let's get into optimizing OBS Studio. So you're gonna to wanna to go down into settings. So let's click settings. You're gonna go over to stream. And uh, here you wanna make sure that your stream key is input. So no, no matter which service that you use, you're gonna, it will give you a stream key. Make sure you put it here for the appropriate service that you stream to. So output is really where we're gonna do the majority of the optimizing. You wanna use simple. Output mode, we're gonna set it on simple. We're gonna make this as easy as possible for you guys. Set it to the best bit rate you can for your upload. So I have a 10 meg down, uh, sorry, I have a 10 meg up on my bit rate. So you wanna do, let's say with that, I would do 5,500 just to be on the safe side. 5,500 video bit rate. Encoder, this is the important one. Assuming you have a NVIDIA GPU, we're gonna use NVENC. However, Depending on your OBS setup, this could also have Intel QuickSync available as a hardware encoder or AMD VCE or uh, AMF is what they call it. That would be for you Radeon guys out there. And so you want to click Hardware NVENC. We're going to do NVENC on that one. Audio bitrate, you can play with that a little bit. I like just putting it on 128. And then you want to check the box for Enable Advanced Encoder Settings. Check that. It is up to you guys if you want to click the box for enforced streaming service bitrate limits. We're just going to leave that checked. And then encoder preset, you want to set that to high quality. May even see it as max quality, max quality, high quality, same thing in this case. And that's it really for getting the simple streaming setup in terms of uh, encoders and bitrate and all that stuff. But there is more in OBS. Let's get to it. 
go on over to the video tab with the video tab selected you'll see base canvas output scaled resolution downscale filter and common fps value out this is where you decide what resolution you're going to be streaming at and for the best looking smoothest experience that won't take a big hit on your system it is 720p 60 fps so assuming you have a monitor that is 1920 by 1080 like mine i'm putting it right here in the base canvas output scaled resolution is what twitch or whatever service is going to get so i'm putting 1280 by 720 there and then the downscale filter will just help it look a little bit better you can make that to the best one laxos 32 samples and then fps value you want to set that to 60 and that will give you the smoothest stream something else that needs to be said to make sure that obs streams smoothly is disabling windows game mode microsoft has made this sort of interfere with resource allocation by making windows game mode give the game more gpu resources and not leaving enough for other programs like obs to stream everything smoothly so we're just going to go into your settings and then in your settings you'll see gaming click gaming and then look for game bar game game mode right here on the, on the left game mode right there that little toggle set it to off so now that we've optimized obs and apex legends it's time to spruce up your stream and make it look a bit more professional a bit more like an awesome stream so go on over to the stream elements website streamelements.com log in with your twitch or whatever service that you're using stream elements only supports twitch and youtube at the moment so either of those but let's log in with twitch going to go over to your dashboard and on the left side you'll see something that says themes gallery in your themes gallery you want to select the spitfire super theme and to make sure everything runs smoothly again on your stream we're going to go with the static super theme so you that one you want to click create and you see pictures of how the stream would look with the different panels that stream elements offers you if this is an awesome free thing that they provide this is just great so you want to click create my overlay and uh, well first you want to name it so we're just going to call it apex you click create my overlay and you see a bunch of links here these are the links we're going to take into obs right now for the sake of this tutorial we're going to do two screens for you guys we're going to do the main overlay it's called in game and then we're going to do the starting soon overlay so for in game we're going to click the copy button copy to clipboard and then you bring this up bring obs up and here we are hit the plus sign go over to browser and then you want to type that one then we're going to call that in game overlay and then here as you can see there is a spot for a url we're going to paste the url there we're going to make the make sure that it's 1928 by 1080 by default all stream elements themes super themes overlays and such are all at 1080p so we're going to just type it in 1920 by 1080 and then and this is super important everyone you click shut down source when not visible check that box and make sure that box is checked for every source that you have so we're going to check that press ok and here you go so you'll see it populate and there it is so what i'm going to do now is actually make sure that it is on top of everything else yeah okay that would be good that will show over the game you see here in the order that everything is here in this box is the order of the layers so you want the in-game layer always at the top so let's add another scene to add the countdown screen so it's going to be called scene two we're just going to leave it at that and then we're going to hit the plus sign go to browser source and we're going to do starting soon so now it's going to be asking for the url so we go back to what all the URLs are and that is starting soon I'm gonna click the copy button there bring OBS back paste it in there and then do 1920 by 1080 and here we go you're gonna get this starting soon screen so as you prep for your stream go ahead and throw that up people will be trickling in and hopefully and they'll know that you're about to get started with some awesome apex gaming once you begin you click over back to your main scene and here you go you can see the webcam box in there that's where you want to put your webcam and then you see a lot of information here you can edit just an fyi we're not going to go over it too much is now you can go click see theme in overlays and here's a bunch of them and uh, so you see all the apex ones here you can click the button to edit them so if you wanted to edit any of the information the sizing of things or anything like that you do it here on this screen and you can zoom in and out just like that i can click that here's where you also want to do your alerts if you go into layers 
you'll see all this information here text that you can click and edit everything inside this overlay is completely configurable for what you guys want to use it for and if alert customization is something you want to do right here in this little layers you see alert box and then you can go to the settings of each of these and adjust them to your liking a major thing you can't forget about with OBS is making sure you have your default audio sources. You see here under Mixer that it's blank. That's because there are no default audio sources currently selected. So you go to settings, you go to audio, and then you see uh, desktop audio device disabled. No, we're going to make that default. And then mic aux slash auxiliary audio device, we're going to make that my microphone. You make that specific to the microphone that you want it to be, or you can just set it to default if your microphone is already the default one that you have set in Windows. You press OK, and boom. Now you see it's reading everything here. That's my microphone. You can see the bars jumping around and uh, desktop audio. There's no audio playing, but that would be what everybody on your stream would hear coming through your headset or your speakers and that you can monitor it all right here to make sure that everything sounds great to everyone. Okay, so quick checklist. We have OBS optimized. Make sure that's done. You have your in-game overlay added. You'd have your webcam in this box. Ideally, I'm using mine to record this tutorial, so I can't put it there to show you guys. Uh, you have Apex Legends being captured, and you see that running right there. And uh, make sure that your default audio devices and desktop audio microphone are all set in OBS. OBS Live, so you have your chat and your activity feed and everything all right here. And uh, for example, look, one of the things that OBS Live can do is you can also replay alerts if you missed any. You can see it there. I'm going to click it and you'll see it pop up. Boom. Look at that. Contagious Amoeba. <laughs> now, now following. Interesting name. But it popped up right here. So it's nice that you can have that kind of control with OBS Live. Again, more on that. That'll be linked in the description below. So now that you've got everything configured and set up, go ahead and click start streaming. Good luck and have fun. And that wraps it up for the tutorial, everyone. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you guys will be getting up and running and streaming nice and smoothly and you have a good time with it. Good luck on the streams. Good luck in the arena. And we wish you all the best. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and click that like button, subscribe. There will be a lot more content like this coming as well. If you need any help, if you still need additional setup with OBS, stream elements, OBS live, have any questions in general to ask, feel free to join the discord. That'll be linked below or just contact stream elements on their Twitter, their discord, their Facebook, Instagram. They are everywhere and anywhere and always available to help. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.